So, whenever the patient is having, <coughs> can you give me a little voice? Yeah. So, if the patient is having a normal radiograph, don't leave him. Get an MRI done and you will discover the presence of the spinal cord injury in that. And uh, you need to give a bonus of high dose of methylprednisolone within 8 hours of injury in a suspected case of the spinal cord injury. And uh, that will have a earth and sky difference in the ultimate prognosis of the patient is what you have to basically remember. <coughs> A 10 day old newborn was rushed to NICU by the local doctor because he found different pattern of his cardiac activity. ECG was done. What do you have? What do you see in this ECG? Normally, P wave should be followed by a QRS complex. Look at the rhythm on the ECG lead to. If the P waves are coming at their own style, QRS complexes are coming at their own style. When will that occur? If there is a atrioventricular dissociation, whenever the patient is having complete heart block. So, if the patient is having complete heart block and uh, there is also a fine rash on the face, what does it suggest? Neonatal lupus. And how does it basically happen? It is the anti the antibodies of the mother who is suffering from SLE. Wherever they travel between 12 to 16 weeks of gestation, they are responsible for the neonatal lupus is what you need to basically understand. Now, doctor, I thought of giving yellow bag, but the problem is uh, on the question paper you can't see yellow. So, I was thinking what to give suddenly black bags yaad mein aagya. So, but actual exam is yellow bag, red bag, different bags will be given to you. If you are color blind, at least ask examiner what is the color. So, which biomedical waste is basically disposed? First you must know it is a black bag. Then black bag mein kya chalta hai andar? Oh, malum hona chahiye. So, blood agar media, we use yellow red. Injection needle, blue or white. Evacation injection with expiry black. Blood soaked with cotton swab is yellow red. IV sets are blue, white or red. And incinerated ash also goes into black. Baba black sheep. Have you any wool? How many colors does it have? 100% you must be ready with all this color of the bags of the waste disposal. If you have not answered this question correctly in actual exam tomorrow in DNB, AIMS, PGI, etc. I failed in my job in inspiring you, in spite of your joining the mock test. Eh? Now what is this organism and how do you want to treat? It is a trophozoite of entamoeba histolytica with its nuclei. And how do you basically treat nitrimidazole, metronidazole, todoquine, but not nifertimox is what you have to basically remember. Nifertimox is the treatment of choice in which organism? Aapko pharmacology book me ek anti parasitic drugs, which parasitic infection, which drug? Usko label kiya hai ya nahi kiya? Agar nahi ke to aaj karna. Definitely one question will come. Nicator Americanus, what will you use? Echinococcus granulosus, what will you use? At least now you have to make that list ready. Definitely one question will come. Then doctor, this three year old came with a neuro regression from early infancy with abnormal movements of the hands and autism. This baby, not that, this baby. So, what is your diagnosis? Classically, it is a case of Rett syndrome. So, what is the hallmark of Rett syndrome, doctor? Repetitive hand wringing movement and loss of the purposeful and spontaneous use of the hand. 
whenever we are walking, we walk like Ghatot Kacha. We will be waving our hand and walking. So, whenever we move our hands, there will be some purposeful movement while walking, etc. If purposelessly, if you are waving the hand, that is called Korea. Kori form movement. Just like on weekend, you go to a discotheque. Everybody will be chilled out. DJ will be playing the music. At that time, if you shy and say, no, no, I don't dancing. Nobody is asking you to do Bharatanatyam and Abhinayam. Huh? So, at least you must know how to wave your hands and that becomes a dance, you know. In the middle, middle, you must be jerking your neck and come and have a little uh, 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 drink. And once more, you need to go and wave the hands. Tomorrow, in post-graduation, you need to do dancing. Huh? So, what is the age of onset for this red syndrome? Typically, one year of age. And what is the earliest neurological finding, Dr. Retaxic Greg? And motor and language are the typical milestones which the patient get retarded is what you need to basically remember. Now you have a condition A, condition B, condition C and T4, free T4, etc. were being given. What is in condition C? All of them are increased. That's the reason it is a case of hyperthyroidism. No big uh, uh, rocket science involved in answering that question. Now, there is a two-year-old child who presented with intense pruritis, particularly at the night. So, child and pruritis is only scabies that you know. So, what is the complication of scabies? Glomerulonephritis can develop. In the, huh? What is that? Palms and souls are there, burrows are seen and also uh, trunk is also involved. Huh? Then uh, there can be penile lesions in infants. So, anything can be there. So, glomerulonephritis. Permethrin, 5% is what we use. Along with that, we give topical corticosteroids to treat the pruritus. And what is the rule in scabies? Treat the entire family is the rule in scabies, which you should not basically forget. Now, you have seen a chest x-ray of 11 year old female. What you find? You are finding the ring shadows which are suggestive of bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis is the part of which syndrome? Typically, it is the part of Cartagenous syndrome is what you need to basically understand. <coughs> See, doctor, you will remember me in exam hall. X-linked residue, X-linked dominant, orthogonal residue, orthogonal dominant, and mitochondrial inheritance. A punch chisel ka pedigree sky say draw karna. In online video library, you have a topic in pathology called inheritance pattern. Is a discussion we had. You go through that video if you have done this wrong. Huh? Inheritance pattern. Consanguity lead to which type of inheritance pattern? Consanguity is implicated in autosomal residue disorders, not dominant. Variable penetrance, variable expressivity is the feature of autosomal, do autosomal dominant. And phenomenon of anticipation, where do you see? In case of autosomal dominant uh, type of inheritance. And vertically transmitted is what? Horizontally transmitted across generation is what? All these things you should review. We had an excellent review, 35 to 37 minutes. Review is there in inheritance pattern. Yeah, kya Whenever female is affected, she is transmitting. Whereas whenever the male is affected, he is not transmitting. Which is classical of mitochondrial type of an inheritance. Melas. Mitochondrial encephalopathy with lactic acidosis with stroke-like episodes. Melas is the classical mitochondrial pattern of inheritance. Then uh, myoclonus with epilepsy, ragged red fiber. That is also mitochondrial in inheritance. <coughs> what are the neurological disorders? Autosomal residues, spinal muscular atrophy, Frederick's ataxia. Then what are X-linked residue? Favorite question. Spino-bulbar muscular atrophy called Kennedy's disease. And which is autosomal dominant myotonic dystrophy. 
spinocerebellar ataxia many varieties are there in spinocerebellar ataxia sca mbbs mein pediatrics mein spinocerebellar ataxia padhna impossible hai ha mushkil hi nahi na mumkin hai to isliye aise cheezon jo aap chhod diye the wo high yield topics ban sakta hai entrance mein ek baar ek martaba dekhna padta ha then x linked dominant is charcot mary tooth disease one of the favorite uh, questions two year old is being brought painless rectal bleeding and there is a currant jelly stool there is anemia and you have performed the test what did you find you found technetium being collected in the meckel's diverticulum so what exactly patient is having a meckel's diverticulum it is not uh, इंटूसेप्शन आप कुरेंट जल्दी देखे तो हर एक कुरेंट जल्दी इंटूसेप्शन थोड़ी होती है तो सर्जिकल इंटरवेंशन मैकल्स डायबेटिकलेक्ट मी इज वॉट यू हाउ टू बेसिकली डू नॉ डॉक्टर बोन मैरो इज एस्पिरेटेड पेशेंट इज हैविंग हाइपरटोनिसिटी हाइब्रोस्पिड मैगारी एस्पिरेशन न्यूमोनिया एक्सेट्रा सो what is this called wrinkled paper like appearance gotcher cells are what you typically come across so gotcher cells mein how will you prove the diagnosis gotcher's disease ko beta glucosidase activity in the peripheral leukocyte fibroblast is what you will basically check for is what you need to remember <coughs> 15 month old child with anemia without hepatosplenomegaly had been shown and uh, peripheral smear has been shown what is the best investigation you want to do in this patient who has got anemia without uh, hepatosplenomegaly so fundamentally what is the diagnosis here you are finding pelor anemia significant anemia polycytosis differently shaped rbcs with an increased red cell distribution width which are all the features which you see in ida iron deficiency anemia and the best way to prove it is serum ferritin levels is very sensitive mark is what you have to fundamentally appreciate a high risk newborn is being investigated with bera so fourth wave is the wave four is fundamentally because of foam so you must find the auditory pathway there is some pneumonia also which is being developed for bera ha huh? what is that e coli e coli what is e coli bada bada wo bhi batao e is ha huh? eighth nerve c for cochlear nerve nucleus ha uh, O for superior olivary nucleus, L for lateral limb nucleus, I for inferior colliculus. Please say very good. Inferior colliculus into the auditory pathway. Superior colliculus shoots to the because it is part of the visual pathway. Then you have two geniculate body, medial geniculate body. Medial क्या होता है? कान होता है या नाक होता इयर्स सो मीडियल इज नोस बट मिडल जेनिकुलेट बॉडी इज वॉट ऑडिटरी आईस आर मीडियल बट लैटरल जेनिकुलेट बॉडी इज विजन सो टू जेनिकुलेट बॉडी यू शुड नॉट फॉरगेट टू कॉलिकले यू शुड नॉट सुपीरियर कॉलिकुलस सी इनफीरियर कॉलिकुलस इन टू दी सुपीरियर कॉलिकुलस सुस्त दी हैदराबाद मीन्स यू आर इन तेलंगाना राइट Uh, then <clears throat> there is an EEG of a five-month-old infant who episodically raises his arms and then flexes his neck, and there is a brief cry and a return to normal posture. इसको क्या कहते हैं? Salam spells is what you will basically call, and his EEG is being shown. So what does this EEG basically suggest you? Hip arrhythmic pattern. hip arrhythmia is the name which is being given for the eeg and uh, infantile spasms are the diagnosis which are a part of the best syndrome 
which can also be associated with tuberous sclerosis. And what is the best treatment of infantile spasms? Vigabatrin. And what is the main toxicity of Vigabatrin? Retinal toxicity and visual field defects is what you should not forget. If you did this question wrong, anti-epileptic drugs in pharmacology in the video library anatomy2medicine.com you have a wonderful review 30 to 40 minutes you are ready with anti-epileptics right so you need to basically review but next time you should not do mistake on anti-epileptic drugs next to 25 tests you should not do wrong eh? that should be the goal so that is all about the uh, image-based questions.